we have um, one of the uh, better talent managers of um, around the New York City area here, a good friend of mine, Al Guglielmo. I Al, welcome on to Wexler's Watch. It's a pleasure to be with here. One of his uh, many protégés, Jennifer, Jennifer Boyle, who's um, modeling here in New York and going to soon be going on to uh, other related careers. Al, tell me, what is a manager? <laughs> you know, and there are agents, there are managers, lots of middlemen in here. What does a manager do different from an agent? Actually, a manager is a babysitter for entertainers, but that's <laughs> 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 we have to babysit all the musicians. You go to school for models. babysitting? Yeah, is that we it? have to <laughs> hold their hand right up until they're, they're in front of the camera and uh, they're on the stage. Mm -hmm. But actually, what a manager does is to... Uh, set up a personal uh, criteria for an act. If it was a musical act, he would get them a record contract and get them a tour through an agent. If it's an actress or an actor, he would get them casted into a major film, unionized film. If it's a model, he would get them work as a Can an agent model. do that? What is it? What do you well, the manager is more of uh, a personal business manager to a person. He hires the agents and he hires the record companies and he hires the people around them so, to make them build. So some of your talent will you'll send them to different agents for different things. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So you've got to send them to the right agent. Exactly, you have to and find the right agent. And you have to work with their acts and direct their careers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what, what type of management do you specialize in? Do you do any kind of entertainer at all, or uh, do you specialize in a particular type of entertainer? No, well, I've, I've was been in the music business as a music manager for many years, and now in the last two years I've transitioned over into film besides. So I'm doing recording artists and uh, also actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, how did you get into this, this business? Oh, I started off uh, like 20 years ago as a professional drummer. I was like 15 years old and I was playing professional drums still in high school with what? a group. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were a touring group. Like mm -hmm. everybody was like four years older than me and I was the little baby behind the drums. You know? It was a rock group? Or? No, it was a uh, big showpiece type group where we backed up recording artists for big shows like Motown, Temptations, and uh, Diana Ross. I worked with Diana for many years, and uh, that's how I started my career, and then I went into management. Mm -hmm. Opened up my own business about 10 years ago, and here I sit today, hey, with, sit today. with beautiful people like Jennifer and Heather and... I have a natural blend, if I must plug my own groups, that's Whitney Houston's three cousins that have that record out now. Who else do you manage? Ladia, the three girls that mm -hmm. are out in the pop market. Mm -hmm. I have a 24-piece band called uh, Top Rass. Mm -hmm. um, and I have Carrie Nation, the rock group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've managed a lot of talent. I, I, I had, um, what was her name, uh, a young lady named, her last name was Lian, L-I-E-N. I forget her Adele first name. Adele Lian is Adele the Lian, lead enormously singer. Enormously talented girl. She Excellent. does everything, and she does everything well. She's in the yeah. group Ladia. We're going to have a record. We have all the talented men around here. Doesn't anybody, I don't, don't us, any of us men have any talent? I only like beautiful women around me. Men I don't want to hire. <laughs> 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 well, you brought a beautiful one with you. Uh, She's gorgeous. Stunning girl. Tonight, and uh, what's your name, sweetheart? Jennifer Boyle. Uh -huh. And you've been in New York now just a little while, huh? Uh, short three and, months, yes. And making uh, making it in the big city, huh? the Big Apple. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, I guess well, this show mostly shows in New York, but to anyone outside of New York, you shouldn't be afraid of New York. I mean, if you've got talent, you can make it here, right? Absolutely. Anyone with talent does. Truth will out, and so will talent. So uh, you're here a short time and doing very well. The two young ladies we had on the show earlier, enormously talented. They're doing plenty of gigs. And uh, there's plenty of work for everybody here if you got the talent. Uh, how did the two of you meet, connect? Well, this is not an X-rated show, so piss. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I should already be that lucky. So I should be that lucky. <laughs> but you discovered uh, you discovered Jennifer somewhere. It wasn't on the subway, I take it. Though maybe it was. I don't know. We had somebody on the show uh, just a week or two ago who your favorite uh, friend, uh, right, I won't even mention friend, his yeah, name, was, discovered yeah. singing on the subway. <laughs> a very, very talented uh, songwriter and guitarist. Mm. And, uh, but there's talent all over the place, even in the subways. So you're not going to tell us how you discussed this. You want to tell him uh, how we met? Oh, go right ahead. Who's blushing go right ahead. Blush, You're blushing. <laughs> no, actually, we're making a joke out of it. We met at a party. It was a model's party. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get a chance to talk to her because I had gone in with one of my actresses, mm -hmm. who was your friend, mm -hmm. a good friend of yours. Oh, and really? uh, 
and an agent. Brazilian, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the guy I walked in with was on top of her like a vulture. I couldn't get a chance to talk to her. I mean, when he saw her, he like zoomed over there and he wouldn't let her move. So I had to wait for her to leave the party. She waved goodbye to everybody and I just followed her outside and said, are you leaving? Mm -hmm. I'd like to speak to you. And she said, okay. And that's it. Well, learn a little bit about pickup techniques. Well, I like to well, do things. I mean, I'm a quiet guy. I'm very shy, and I like to do things, you know. <laughs> this, is, this show believes in truth now. I, you know, <laughs> I don't think you'll pass a lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> shy Al. Well, Shy Al, uh, <coughs> there are lots of different kinds of, of modeling. I mean, I, I uh, run into models here and there on, on this show and I hear about all kinds of modeling and I don't know the difference one from the other. Maybe you can tell us this. Is showroom modeling, fit modeling, I guess I know that, but then there's editorial, TV, commercial. Do you have to be tall to do all any kind of modeling? If anyone wants to come to you and uh, Will to that be managed. Would you like me to answer that for you? I <laughs> yes, absolutely. Why don't you <laughs> That's our category. Yeah. Well, there are many, many different forms of modeling um, and it doesn't take tall, it be just beautiful women to do it. Uh, there's petite modeling, there's uh, the high fashion regular modeling that everyone knows, and there's uh, plus size modeling. There's a little bit of something for everyone out there. What, what is editorial? Um, that's, that, that is like a magazine work. It's um, print related work. Um, you don't have to be tall for that, right? It helps. <laughs> it, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it helps. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's print and runway and showroom and uh, promotional modeling and uh, there's many different kinds. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm uh, the modeling careers, I really have no complaints with that, but I'm interested in embarking on this new uh, TV and film acting career. And, so, and that's your job. That's where, that's where Al comes in. Her down. That's it. The garden path. I'm going to put her on the silver screen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You're going to arrange for, send her to a, an acting school or yeah. acting coach and mm -hmm. get her into that end of the business. Yeah. Huh? That's all in the works right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you have to work pretty closely with, you, with your clients and uh, a lot of it is a personal relationship, isn't it? When you're a very personal relationship, you're dealing with the bu their uh, business affairs, mm -hmm. and their, their careers. A little bit of everything, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you you mentioned there were some changes in the in the business which uh, the movie business which which got you involved in it. Well, now the big thing, of course, is the musical uh, score that goes with a good film. Mm -hmm. uh, if you notice, some of the, the films are made with great music behind it, so that's what made a lot of music people swing into the film industry, like Madonna. Speaking of music. I hate to interrupt you having asked you oh, that question. That lovely head is coming I back. Promise I promise you to come back and, and do another That's rock it. violin number for us. Yes, so I'd we're like going to manage to get you, okay, get you in here. Go to it. <laughs> 